Well, darlings, it's Mummy, Sybil Brunchen, and um, there's the vast Atlantic Ocean. This is uh, Palm Beach, and although Palm Beach may not be the prettiest beach, and certainly not perhaps with the prettiest people, um, the sand and, the, and that uh, spit right there, um, it might not be the most gorgeous, but I'll tell you, at the end of March, when you live in New York City, this'll do. Um, this is wonder, this is, look at this coral, isn't this wonderful? Is there anything prettier than a structure made with wonderful fossilized coral uh, limestone? It's, it's just, look at that. Isn't that, can you see it? I hope I'm photographing it properly. If the acoustic, look at this, oh my goodness. Here's the site, and this is the bronze plaque, which is the site of the Palm Beach Pier um, that was opened in 1925 and it extended a, over a thousand feet from this point right here for over 40 years, it was a favorite town attraction featuring a coffee shop, cocktail lounge, restaurant, tackle shop, fishermen's lockers, a series of successive, oh, and then, comma, a series of successive storms and hurricanes gradually, oh, eroded the structure, causing it to be removed in 1969. Really, you'd think the people of Palm Beach would be rich enough to rebuild it. Well, that seems really rather silly. That must be the what's left of it right there. And imagine it went out there a fifth of a mile out into the water. Oh, how glamorous that must have been. I think I was there actually once. Um, more of this limestone. To show you the structure that I was in, it's right here. Um, there's the structure I was in. That's quite becoming. And um, well, here's famous Worth Avenue. Worth Avenue is simply beautiful. Um, it's, I, you talk about grandeur. I mean, they really know how to do it here. This is quite lovely, isn't it? That's, that's quite impressive. So, um, I'm going to cross here. Everyone seems to be drawing a blank as to what to do, but Mummy is going to be aggressive. And here I am walking into Worth Avenue, and it is quite impressive. It's lovely. I'm telling you, the foliage, the geckos, everything is absolutely beautiful. And people are talking too loudly as usual out on the street. Um, but here we are, Worth Avenue, and this is, you know, right down by the water. Um, you know, <laughs> to, to even stay in one of these rooms is like $1,100 a night. Um, and that's the hotel. You can see Gucci in the distance. Uh, the shops along here, it's, it's, it's Fifth Avenue, but with palm trees. I mean, everything is butted up against everything else. So you've got Cartier against Van Cleef, and Bulgaria is next door to uh, whatever, you know. It just goes on and on. Cartier is here. Everyone is here. It, it's not so much that they're all here. It's that are they going to start opening duplicate shops on every other block like Starbucks? Worth Avenue is literally the sort of place you'd find Cartier every 700 feet. So <laughs> it's, it's a caramel macchiato and then a diamond bracelet and a caramel macchiato and a scone and a sapphire uh, pair of earring, earring clips. Um, so anyway, I'm going to stroll down here and, um, and show you the view. Um, Mummy's sort of on vacation. Tonight there's reruns on, uh, on um, my wonderful Come Now, Don't Sulk. So, uh, but remember that Come Now, Don't Sulk is Mondays, every Monday usually live, but tonight we're going to have a rerun. So, oh, this is nice. For the Leos in the crowd, there you go. Um, so there's a nice little tribute to our Leo friends. And uh, I think Mummy has to go spend a penny. All right, I'll talk to you shortly. Bye, darlings.